the premise you're working on with your group. You're walking on the beach, okay? It's a real nice beach. Maybe, maybe this beach is in... Uh, maybe, I don't know if there's a beach there. I was thinking somewhere... I'm thinking Miami. Real nice. Miami. It's a real nice beach, probably somewhere like Gary, Indiana. Okay. Yeah, but it gets better. It gets better, though. You walk in danger. You kick something, right? And this thing has a handle. It's an old Folgers can, but it's a genie old Folgers can. So poof, genie. And it's the cool Robin Williams one, not the creepy Will Smith one. Okay? It's the cool one. And here's your choices. And there's no loopholes. No loopholes, okay? I'm not an expert in genie magic law, but there's no loopholes in this one. You get two choices, purse A or purse B. Purse A. It has a straight grand up in it, and you it, make, it gets $200 extra dollars in it every day if you don't touch it. Purse B, it has a whole penny in it, and that penny doubles every day as long as you don't touch it. No loopholes. These are just your two options, okay? You need to answer the questions. How much money after one week and two weeks for both purses? Then the genie's going to let it go three weeks. How much would be in each purse? And which one would have more after 30 days? Problem one said we had these two purses, right? A and B. And the first thing it asked for was how much was in the purse after one week. Is that right? So here's what I did for A. I said there was a, a thousand in there and I'm adding 200 a day for seven days. That's the expression I used for person A. Okay? And that gave me $2,400 after one week. We good? Okay, then for B, this one was a little tougher. I know expression, maybe you didn't. Some of you probably went times two, times two, times two, times two, seven times, right? But what's repeated multiplication? An exponent. I saw people try to use exponents and fail, and that's cool. But this is what we need. I got a penny, and I'm multiplying that by two, seven times. That's how you'd use the exponent. So a penny, I'm multiplying by two, seven times, to get a, a buck 28. So after one week, what's the better gig? A or B? A. It's got 2400 versus a buck 28. That's one week. Okay? Let's look at Let's look at 2 weeks. Okay? I'll double 0 0.01 times 2, yeah. Let's look at 2 weeks next. So I'm going to get organized here. First A for 2 weeks. I got that straight 1000 in there plus 200 times 14. That's 2,800 plus 1,000. Total of what? 3,800, right? For two weeks. I got 1,000, and I'm getting 200 a day for 14 days. You follow? And then purse B. I got that penny. And what that penny doing? Doubling. How many times? 14. It's doubling so much, I'm going to call Ireland. I maybe said that one before. Anyway, my penny is doubling 14 times to get 163.84. Man, after two weeks, which purse should you take? There was no two-weeker? For two weeks? No, it was. It's 160. Let me check. A penny. I'm doubling it for 14 days. I got 163.84 for two weeks. Maybe, maybe. But then you'd just be off by a half. Okay. Next up. So that is one week and two weeks. What does the next one ask for? Three weeks. Let's do it. So A for three weeks. I have $1,000 in there. I'm adding $200 a day for 21 days. And what do we get? $5,200. Still looks like a pretty good purse, doesn't it? Let's check out B. It only had $160 last week. 
It's probably nothing. A penny. I'm doubling that penny 21 times. And that purse now has 20,971.52. Ooh. That one caught up and surpassed. So the third question is, after 30 days, well, is this one ever going to catch up if it's only adding 200? No, because next day, another 21 grand right there, next day. So you don't actually need to solve it to answer it, but just for fun. Let's see how much is in that purse after 30 days, okay? So I got a penny. What's happening in that penny? It's doubling 30 times. And it will have 107374 It'll have a cool 10 mil in it if you can wait 30 days. Okay. I have a penny. Times two, 30. If you expanded this, everybody sees this. If you expand it, one, two, three, four, five, six, dot, 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 right? That's what that is expanded. Asa, do you see what I mean by that good mistake you made earlier? Oh, I love it. That was awesome. So, that's some, that purse, man. Purse B. Was purse B eyes better? Not necessarily. Let's check out the graphical representation of these purses. You can see it here. I need you to answer questions one through five with your table partner. Sean, what's purse A and how do you know? It's red, yep. How do you know? A steady rate, I like that. What's another, um, what's another word for a steady rate in math? It's a constant rate of change, also known as? Slope. And I like Sean, ref yeah, they're all the, kind of like the same thing. Sean referenced that was 200 each week, right? Which would be a constant rate of change or a slope. That's good. All right? And that means that purse B needs to be which one? It's the blue one. Who can tell me how they know it's the blue one? Well, one, it's not per se, but like, tell me some other stuff. I. Well, you can tell, like, like actually with the graph, it's like, it's low probability. Like, it's like, it's yeah. So, like, low and, and then takes off, kind of. Because when you have a bigger number that doubles, right? Cam? Uh, it's not linear. It's not linear, right? It's exponential, is the word that we've been using for that. Awesome. Um, point P. It's right there. Who can tell me what, which is, what does that mean in context? What does point P mean in context? Uh, yeah. I'm just going to put how much in purse B after nine days. Yeah. It's hard to read from the graph which day it would be, right? And then what about the Q? Who can tell me what that would be? The Q would tell me what? Troy? Um, is Which bag? Q is per se, how many days? Five days, right? Okay. I'd agree with that. Uh, who can tell me the vertical intercept for purse A? Elsa? What is it? Yeah, so I might say the coordinates are 0, 1,000. And how do you know the vertical intercept for per se is 1,000? What started? Yeah, in context, how much money was in per se? 1,000 to start, right? And then purse B, who can tell me the intercept for purse B? JP? One cent. Yeah, so one cent. And how do you know that? It started with a penny in the bag, right? Cool. Uh, who would tell me, if you had to give me advice, when is purse B a better choice? Z Zeph, what are you saying? I said, like, I said after. After a month? I mean, it would be, I mean, after three weeks still. After three weeks? 
I'm looking. I'm looking right here, everybody. At 19 days, right? Blue is above. Remember, blue is purse B. Okay. Knowing what you know, let's take a vote. Who chooses purse A? Who chooses purse B? Uh oh. This this Jenny only lives for 10 days though. Yeah, but what if like? Just kidding. We don't know how long. We don't know how long we get it for, so maybe go for the big purse. You need more information than just which purse, right? You need to know how many days. But you could maybe make a strategy, which is what your cooldown is. Let's cool it down, and then come grab your homework from me, please. This is the rival genie. The rival genie? Yep.